The route to this family's guest bathroom runs through the laundry room, and both rooms are ready for an update. Ooh, sounds like I got a promotion. Does that come with a raise? Uh-uh. Uh. <laughs> I've been helping homeowners improve their home for a lot of years. They think it's intimidating, but it actually can be a lot of fun. And we're here to help. Good job. Look at there. Dad's the expert, but I've learned a few things along the way. Practical, realistic home improvement information is what today's homeowner is all about. This house is home to the Smith family. Brad, Mary, Bradley, Mackenzie, Conyer, and Colton. Whoa! We've lived in this house for almost 10 years. It needs a lot of updating. It's an older house. It was built in the early 70s, so there's lots of projects to do, so we stay busy. <laughs> and the one we're here to help with is a tiny laundry room and the bathroom it leads to. The most frustrating thing for me is logistics. I mean, you see it right off the kitchen and then you see it to go to the bathroom. It's very frustrating not having work in space. I have to take all the laundry into the, usually into the den on the couch and that's where I fold it. Dave, you want to take a look at our tight quarters? <laughs> all right. Yeah, oh, it is yeah. pretty, pretty close in here and uh, it's a little unusual having the bathroom. It is. Through here. It, the it's the pain to uh, have our guests go through the laundry room into the bathroom. You know, friends, family, where's your bathroom? Well, you got to go through the laundry room <laughs> to get to it. Actually, what we say is ignore the mess and go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they, you know, do a few clothes along the way. That's right. Load yeah. in. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a process doing laundry. Nice. It never ends. <laughs> With four kids, it never ends. When you think you're caught up, there's, there's, there's more, more coming. And it's a constant struggle trying to keep it clean so no one sees the true look of our laundry yeah. room. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are some of the ideas that you had? I mean, naturally, it's kind of outdated, kind of yes. like it was Freshen when the house was built. Bit. Yeah. Some storage. Storage, yeah. okay. Yeah, there's nothing there in there. No storage. No, there's decent there's wall, wall space, though. <laughs> Everything's just out in the open. There's no hiding anything. <laughs> we had once talked about maybe putting the door around this side. There's room on the wall over here instead of... Oh, just on the same wall down there. Yes, yeah. And then eliminating that one. Yeah. In my mind, moving a door from one location to another, it seems like a large job. If you have the space on the wall there, we actually, you know, can carefully take this door out because if it's in that corner, then it would swing back against that wall. And reuse it. Perfect. Perfect. It's a pretty small space, but I think we can make a pretty big difference on the whole thing. Yeah. That'd be great. Awesome. Any, anything's better than what we have. Let me get up some measurements. That, <laughs> that won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll relocate the bathroom door, add some storage and workspace to the laundry, and update the look of both rooms with flooring, paint, and moldings. Well, Brad, I've been thinking about this whole project. I think uh, it's going to make a big difference getting that door out of that laundry room, oh, yeah. putting it in over here. I think it'll work pretty well. We are definitely excited about moving the door. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, Danny, it's going to be me today. Ah. Uh, Mary's at work. I'm a teacher, so asking for a whole week off was um, kind of a sore subject with my principal. So you. you got me. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> between the three of us, uh, I think we're going to pretty much fill up that room anyway. So we're right. trying to say. Uh, well, that comment certainly was not intentional. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just get to work. <laughs> Normally I don't like to have any excuses, but I'm perfectly okay with using my pregnancy as an excuse not to move a washer and a dryer. This is the light. <laughs> Next, I pry off the molding around the bathroom door so we can start removing the door jam. Dad, I know we want to reuse the door frame and the door trim. Mm -hmm. Is it worth the effort to remove it all in one piece? Oh, definitely, because it was what they call a sandwich jam, and it could have fallen into like seven or eight different pieces. So. The fewer pieces we have, the quicker it'll go and the better it'll look. I do hate when my sandwich falls apart. I hate when my sandwich falls apart. We plan to cover the back wall of the laundry room with beadboard paneling, but that requires a little more prep. What about this uh, plastic tile board? Did you guys put that up? Danny, it was here when we moved in. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Well, it might be just something to protect the wall. It's a good idea, or they may have put it there because of some kind of freeze damage, but yeah. go ahead and take the seal and the apron off. If nothing else, I bet there's some glue on the wall, but we can deal with that. Boy, I'm really hoping that we're able just to take that shower board mm -hmm. off and put that beadboard right in there. I hope. That would be perfect. I wonder what you find. Man, it looks like some drywall, maybe. I can't tell. Oh, looks like they glued it in there. All right, well, let's go ahead and try to see if we can just, just real easy. About three. There we go. All right, go come on around. 
go, that's free. Now up and down. All right, it's all yours. Okay. All right, a little mold down there. This mold on the wall is the perfect place to use wet and forget indoor so that we can kill the mold before we cover it up. Otherwise, the mold could just grow right through the beadboard and we don't want that. Hole saw is the perfect tool for drilling large diameter holes. The challenge comes when you have a small hole you want to enlarge. The hole saw won't work because the pilot bit has nothing to bite into, so it'll rattle around and leave you a really ragged cut. So the trick is to take two hole saws and mount them on a single arbor. And what happens is the inner, smaller hole saw is the same diameter as the old hole, and the larger hole saw is the size of the hole you want to drill. So you just put it in there so the smaller diameter hole saw fits right in the old hole and drill it out. There you go. You get a nice clean hole on both sides with no problem. Now, the only thing I want to tell you is that when you're using this trick, it doesn't work with every single hole saw. First, you need to either type a hole saw that has the hole saws that fit onto a single fixture like this, or let me take this one apart and show you. It has to be a hole saw that has elongated holes. If you look at the bottom of the hole saw, see how it has two flat sides? That's what you need. And you can do this trick every time. We're making Brad and Mary's laundry and guest bath more functional and appealing by removing the door unit that joins them. As I remove the old bathroom vanity piece by piece, I'm thankful that the new one will be much simpler. You sell that on eBay? <laughs> a lot of the vanities that we have have a pre-made top that sits in place. Obviously, they need to attach the cabinet to the wall, fit the top on, and then just put all the plumbing into it. Before we can cover the openings between the rooms, we have to create a new entry to the bath and Mary's home just in time to help. All right, so what we're gonna try and do is knock a hole in the wall just to see what's going on with the wiring for this outlet, and then we can determine which way we're gonna move it. So anytime you're cutting in an existing wall, you gotta make sure you don't hit the wires. Give it plenty of room. Yeah, that's why we're gonna go with a small little hole <laughs> to see where the wire's going before we make the hole bigger. All right. Is that big enough? Uh, a little bigger. Depends on how much frustration you have. Yeah, I mean, really, I can, <laughs> I can get more knock down the whole wall. <laughs> Look, which way is it going? It's going up. up, which means we can still move it. We're just going to have to go further up the wall to move the wire than okay. we originally planned. So we'll get the molding off, and then we can work on cutting the whole doorway. Oh, what do we have behind here? Lovely. Oh, pretty fruity wallpaper. wallpaper. Yes. That is beautiful. Oh, grapes and strawberries. <laughs> Why didn't they leave that? I know, why would anyone cover that up? That's beautiful. Mary and I are just worried about removing the drywall where the new door is gonna go. Woo! We'll let Dad worry about the hard part, taking the studs out. You know, in my over 40 years in the remodeling business, I have relocated a lot of existing doors. You're able to save a lot of money, but sometimes when you open up a wall, you may find a few surprises. Well, I really found a good surprise in that the electrical outlet actually ended right here. And I was able to relocate this over to an adjacent wall cavity very easily. And talk about recycling. I'm recycling everything, the door, the trim, even this stud. And once I cut the stud free, I can move it to the other side of the new doorway and block up the bottom of the old doorway with a little extra help from Brad's kids. It was exciting to see my kids get involved. <laughs> they want to do everything. You got us a helper back there? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Here you go. Now pull the trigger. Oh, man. So what does that do? Well, it makes the wall real pretty because you spread this over the joints and you put some of this paper on it and then it all smooths out. Oh. It's magic. It's magic. Conyer could not figure out why we called it drywall mud. Some people call this mud. <laughs> it doesn't even look anything like mud. I don't know. That looks like ice cream, but it does not taste like it. Don't eat it. So he decided to call it concrete icing, which to me, it makes sense for an eight-year-old. That's exactly what it looks like. Never eat concrete icing. All these kids wanted to get involved in every single part of this little remodeling project. That's pretty cool. Hey, it's kind of like us. Oh. Yeah. 
By the end of the first day, the laundry and bathroom are separated. So at the beginning of day two, we can start improving them. All right, Brad, one thing that's fun to do in a small room like this is to do a little decorative accent. Okay. So we're gonna go with beadboard paneling. So it's like pretty it. inexpensive, like especially it. in a small room. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure and cut the piece for the wall cavity that we created, and then we'll do it on the window wall as well behind the appliances. So Chelsea and I have glued up the beadboard to fit into the little storage cabinet, and she wanted to shimmy it up just a hair. Does it slide up any? So I started forcing it up and when I did that, the drywall into the bathroom broke free. <laughs> Cut. I'm dying laughing because never in a million years would I have thought <laughs> that pushing on the beadboard would push the drywall off the screws. I'll see y'all later. <clears throat> but I'm gonna stop laughing because someone has to tell dad. I wanted to go run and hide because I didn't want to see his reaction. Sorry. So you knock a big hole in the wall and then you laugh hysterically. We didn't knock a hole in the wall, we just the pushed hole. the drywall out. <sighs> Everything's fine. <laughs> you didn't use enough glue. Are you, oh. Do you ever have a feeling like you've done something before? Deja vu. Yeah. I'm gonna call Brad the Kool-Aid man because he came busted through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Once the drywall is reinstalled and the beadboard re-glued, we're ready to rehang the door unit. The key to installing a door unit is making sure that the jam is perfectly plumb and flush with the walls in both rooms. It's flush with the door and the drywall. Then it needs to be thoroughly secured to the framing to ensure that it won't go anywhere. You know, this is probably a familiar site in your toolbox. I think over the years, I might have purchased about six of these sets, and they're wonderful for tightening down or loosening bolts and tight spaces. But what if the space is so tight that you only get like maybe one or two clicks? That's just too tight to get a lot of movement. Well, Husky has come up with a solution. Here is a cordless one. Dan, this thing is amazing. Yes, it is. This is a nice tool for tight spaces because it'll, it basically ratchets it down for you. That's fantastic. Now, when you operate it with the battery that's on board, you get about 30 foot-pounds of torque, and that's pretty strong. It is pretty strong, but if you need to get a little bit more torque, mm -hmm. you can just operate this as a regular ratchet and tighten it down. Wow, and you get about 150 yes, foot-pounds. Yes, you do. So, your choice is have one of these, which is great, and I have six of them, or you can upgrade and use this every time. We're updating Brad and Mary's guest bath and laundry. While I trim out the door we just relocated, Brad and Chelsea are installing more beadboard in the laundry room. All right, bring it into place, please. Okay. And then make sure it's flush up in the corner. Okay, we are flush everywhere. All right, I'm gonna draw as far as I can. Okay. By marking the window opening in place, we'll ensure that the cuts are perfectly accurate. Are those fitting? We are good to go. There. We're using construction adhesive on these panels to keep them secure between the nails we're driving into the studs. Okay, so Brad said that you wanted to maybe hang your ironing board in here. Yes. Okay, I measured it, it's 14 inches. So I'm gonna give you the options. Okay. Okay, so 14, let's give it just a little bit of room. So that would be there. Okay. So there's not really a whole lot of room anything to else. hang anything yeah. else. Maybe, you know, put a shelf up top if you have anything short, you can set on there. It was good to have Chelsea help and show me, you know, how we can set up the cabinet and make sense of it for me because that kind of decision is not something I do on a daily basis. <laughs> After some experimenting, it turns out there's room for everything, plus that small shelf for the iron. Huh, awesome. Now to add even more storage space. I don't know. <laughs> now sometimes I have to loosen the tool belt a little bit, but this time the tool belt just fell right off. I've never seen that happen before. Better than his pants, I guess. <laughs> I've seen it where I couldn't fit it around me. I guess that low carb thing's working pretty well. <laughs> you know, these two cabinets gonna make a big difference in Absolutely. being able to have a little bit of storage, real accessible and that kind of thing. But I think 
taking the shelf board, putting it across there. Okay. We'll also make a little bit larger window sill. She got plenty of stuff Beautiful. for whatever she wants to put in here, like I love it. you know, candles, flowers that you bring her, <laughs> all kind of things like My that. My trophies. Yeah, trophies. Yeah, trophies. <laughs> never heard of trophies in a laundry room. Once the shelf is secure, we wrap the window and cabinet sides with more beadboard paneling. By the end of the day, there are plenty of surfaces in need of paint, just in time for Brad and Mary's homework. You know, those two rooms are pretty small on their own, but when it comes to painting them, cutting in the trim work, uh, priming all the raw wood, the cabinets, uh, then going back over with the final coat, it ended up taking about five to six hours, even with the kids' help, but we got a lot of work done. The painting looked like it worked out pretty well. Uh, at least I was up for my midnight snack Is that while right? I was painting. It's so. just two little small rooms. <laughs> A lot of cutting, yeah. a lot of trim. A lot of, a lot of, well, here's Ooh. what I had in mind. Yes, so when we put the washer and dryer back in there, okay. we're going to have about a 19-inch space in between. Okay. Chelsea came up with the idea of creating a little storage thing that this will slide into and the other one will slide right on the floor. Perfect. And putting a top on it like this that actually will let them stain it the same way they're going to stain that extended window seal that we built. Okay. We just need to rip it down just a little bit and then you can turn it over to the stain department. Ooh, sounds like I got a promotion. Does that come with a raise? Uh-uh. <laughs> Once we cut out the top, Brad hands it over to Chelsea and Mary so they can apply the stain. While they're busy with that, we create a simple cabinet to hold the laundry baskets before I begin laying out our cuts for the new vinyl floor we're about to install. Here's the fun part. You ready? All right, how'd you go that way? One, two, three. How'd you know how to do that? How did you know how to do that? <laughs> hey, it's called the Danny dance. <laughs> no, I really, I don't know. All right, let's go that way one time. One, two, three. <laughs> I've never seen anybody catch on that well. You must be something else on the dance floor. <laughs> yes, Brad's a good dancer. Put the wobble on and he's all over the dance floor. <laughs> oh, no, you did not. <laughs> After a little trimming, we apply the floor adhesive to complete the installation so we can begin putting the rooms back together. Brad and Mary's laundry and bath were dated to be sure. But they didn't work well either because of the fact that guests had to walk through the laundry to get to the bath. Now that problem is solved. We eliminated the doorway between the rooms and moved it into the kitchen. A new vanity, new flooring, and a fresh coat of paint make the bathroom much more appealing for their guests. In the laundry, we used the space from the old doorway to create an attractive storage area for household items that need to be accessible. We also added tons of storage above the washer and dryer. The new cabinets hide all kinds of laundry supplies and support an additional shelf above the window. The small cabinet between the appliances offers more laundry storage and creates a great folding space in the center of the room. Plus the color and material choices make the room an attractive spot, all for less than $1,000 in materials. It's beautiful. Unbelievable. Never would have thought it would look this good. It's something I don't think that we could have done by ourselves with four children and two dogs running around, but. It was nice to have somebody that's knowledgeable and knows how to do it right. <laughs> right. I mean, who moves a door in a day? Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm very excited about having guests over now. As long as we can keep it straight and tidy, I would love for people to come see our laundry room. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like doing laundry now. Actually, I'm going to start tonight, I'm sure, because <laughs> we haven't had laundry all week. <laughs> You know, this really was a fun, fun project because Brad and Mary got involved in every single aspect of it and even got their kids involved. How cool is that? Now, a laundry room and a bathroom renovation really isn't that exciting until you start thinking about how much time you spend in these two areas of your home. And if they're brighter and more modern and have plenty of storage, it makes it a little more pleasant. I hope you enjoyed this week's show and I hope I'll see you next week here on today's homeowner. I'm Danny Lippert. We'll see you then. I was thinking, oh, we won't be painting today. Yeah. It'll be fine to wear a black shirt. Yeah. Learn my lesson. What's that terrible saying? One step forward, two steps back. Yeah. I hate that saying. I hate it. Be sure to join us next week when we help a family bring the kitchen project they've already started to a happy completion.
It's almost impossible to hang a door without a level to ensure the jam is plumb. Jam and plumb. <laughs>